expect me to be there this evening and expect me to turn a wheel in the uh, indoor circuit and I have a feeling I'm going to actually accept it. So uh, uh, apologies in advance uh, if I stagger my way to the commentary box tomorrow morning after I get so much abuse and uh, uh, nasty driving from the drivers on purpose at my expense on the indoor. I'll let you know all about that, of course, uh, first thing tomorrow morning if that ends up being the case. But for the moment, it is Zach Ripley and Alex Lloyd on that front row of the grid. Keep an eye on Liam McNeely, though, from that second row of the grid, the second of the Evolution carts. He's been right up with a sharp end for both of the previous races up in that top five. Dinana Van Toff on the second row with a win and a second place, just like Alex Lloyd on that front row of the grid. Uh, Max Meyer and Wilgert Edqvist have both had good opportunities. Max Meyer is the one who's made most use of them. Unfortunately, his teammate, Wilgert Edqvist, uh, sorry, uh, the man alongside him on the front, on that third row of the grid, I should say, Wilgert Edqvist, has struggled in the second heat. Uh, in the first one, didn't do too bad a job, but uh, there is a little bit of difficulty trying to get him dialed in uh, at exactly the right moments uh, for some reason. Sam Belota and Gilles Stadspader make it an all Belgian row four again. And then Ken Oscar Algra, the Estonian, lines up alongside the very talented young female racer Alicia Barrett who's uh, done a fantastic job this weekend in the fusion cart and is very much closing in on the pace of her teammates Delano Van Toff and uh, Max Meyer so it's good to see her getting towards the sharper end. Josh Raddick in 11th position still playing comeback after his uh, injury uh, a few months ago and still getting up to speed very quickly. Tom Levin alongside him on the grid in the BMR cart the only one of the BMR drivers here this weekend. Uh, Josh Rowledge is there in 13th position and he rushed up to me in the break between second and third heats and said trust me we're going to do better this time we've changed things we're going to be fast I don't know whether that's Josh Rowledge just uh, desperately trying to uh, get me to pay attention to him. he's always sniffing around my heels all the way every every single way we go racing whether it's in Britain or in Europe I can't seem to get him away from me these days uh, alongside him on the starting grid is going to be the Frenchman Anzo Julier who took the victory at Marienborg uh, a few weeks ago but then the grid really gets interesting. Not only is also Julier that far down the grid, but as you can see on the graphic on your screen in front of you, the championship leader, Lewis Gilbert, is down in 15th place on the grid, and his closest rival, Marty Boyer, is 17th on the starting grid. So the championship rivals caught out by yesterday's wet weather qualifying session. Alongside Gilbert is Khaled Saab. Alongside Boyer is the Spaniard, Erbelt Moa. And then rounding up the top 20, it is uh, Victor Pardo, and uh, 20th on the grid, Sam Balatsky, the German. Uh, then we have uh, Alex Ivanov and Linus Janssen, the Estonian and the German. Uh, the Danish driver, Manus Germansen Dai, is there in 23rd on the grid alongside the Estonian, Rimo Kadabik, another driver who's trying to make up massive progress. Then it's an all German row 13, uh, Vincent Andronaco and Herwelin Nerodini. And then we have Jozik Spinkovic, the pole, alongside the Estonian Ronan Hakala, another driver a long way down the order. The German Torben Gründal, the Swiss Eren Reschepi, uh, the Thai driver Tazanapol in Fulfuvazak, uh, Jord Kuhn, the Dutchman, and then we have Frederik Jakobsen in 17, on the row 17, I should say, on the starting grid. 33 of them, all neatly in position. And it's time now to sort out who is going to be the third winner of a Junior X30 heat this weekend. We've seen Delano Van Toff, the number seven, take a victory. We've seen the number 54, Alex Lloyd, take a victory. Who's going to get the job done in the third race? Will it be one of those two or will it be a third completely different racer? Ripley, Lloyd, McNeely, Van Toff, Meyer, Edqvist, Belota, Stadspada, Alga, Barrett in the top ten. Then it's Radican, Leban, Rolich, Julier, Gilbert, Saar, Boyer, Moa. Pardo, Balatska, Ivanov, Janssen, Gamansandai, Kadapik, Andronako, Nuradini, Spinkovic, Hakala, Grundal, Rekshepi, Intrafovazak, Kuhn and Jakobsen. The drivers are in their positions now as they form up on the grid. They're going to need to get there quickly because the leaders are coming through that final turn. And I think we're going to be okay, but only just as they come around the final corner. The drivers neatly in position. We're going to get racing. Lights out. Let's go racing here in Rackersdorf. And it's a cracking start from Alex Lloyd once again, who squeezes into the lead alongside Ripley. No problem at all as they go through the first corner. And everybody through. Oh, this contact. Contact in turn one. Two cards have come together there at the back of the field. And there's more drama at turn two as well. Three or four cards off in the walls already. So out in front, it is Alex Lloyd from Zach Ripley, but there's carts all over the place in the first couple of corners. We've lost uh, two or three carts over the course of the first lap. There's a big off into the barriers on the exit of turn one. I'm not entirely sure who that is, but we've got uh, several drivers down at turn two out of luck. It looks like we've lost Anzo Julier 
Onzo Julier is one of them. So Onzo Julier is down there at the top end and we've li we seem to have lost one of the evolution carts in the wall there as well up on the far side and there's damage to the 72 who is crawling back to the pits. Now that is, uh, I'm trying to figure out who the 72 is, that's Gilles Stadsbader. So Gilles Stadsbader has stopped the cart on the main straight. Now we're going to go full course yellow here and I'm not at all surprised because we've got several carts uh, in a very dangerous part of the circuit. So a big problem then as we go full course yellow and it's Alex Lloyd who leads the way from Delano Van Toff at the end of the first lap with Zach Ripley in third from Meyer, Belota, Barrett up in sixth place. Then it's Algra, Rolidge, Gilbert up to ninth. Radican is tenth from Moore, Boyer, Saab and Germanson Die. So looking at where we are in terms of the drivers that have not come through, the retirements already are Onzo Julier, Tom Leban and Wilgert Edqvist. So they're all together. Liam McNeely is the one whose cart has been buried into the barriers at the exit of turn one. Now that's a big name from the front end. Liam McNeely started third and unfortunately ended up in the barriers there. And as we, as we see, there is the very disgruntled Onzo Julier walking up alongside uh, Wilgert Edqvist, who is out of this race. And also another big name to fall is Gilles Stadsbader, who has pulled off the circuit at this point on the racetrack. If you look, there is his cart. So Gilles Stadsbader, who's been in the top six most of the weekend, the uh, Belgian is very, very unhappy, to be fair. And he's got every reason to be, because uh, I wonder if that was damage through the melee of the first lap. But we've lost Liam McNeely, Wilgert Edqvist, Gilles Stadsbader, Tom Leban, Anzo Julier. So five retirements already. Liam McNeely's accident looked pretty hectic, but they have now got everything clear. And it's not going to be long before we go to green, but we're not there yet. So as they come across the line at the end of the second lap under yellow flags, it's Alex Lloyd who leads from Delano Van Hoff, Zach Ripley, Max Meyer, Sam Belota, Alicia Barrett in sixth from Kenoska Algra, Josh Rowledge, Josh Radican, Lewis Gilbert in 10th place. Then it's Erbelt Moore, uh, Marty Boyer, Manus Gamansandai, then it's Saab, Janssen, Andronako, Nunadini, Reshepi, Grondal, Intrafovazak, Bolatska, Hakala, Kuhn, Jakobsen, Spinkovic, Pardo, and then Kanapik and Ivanov down at the back. Those two are really not having a good run, are they, Kanapik and Ivanov? And uh, bad luck for them, unfortunately. I think both of them have actually come into the pits to retire. So Kanapik and Ivanov sadly look like they are out of the race, which is an absolute disaster for the. Uh, Two Ike's racing drivers from Estonia, Rimo Kanapik and Alex Ivanov. It's an absolute disaster from their point of view. The only driver they've got left in that brigade now is Ken Oscar Algra, who is there in uh, seventh position on the grid. Ronan Patrick Hackel is in the mix as well, actually. He's a little further down the order, but he's uh, there or thereabouts for the Estonian contingent. And as they come through to the end of lap three, are they going to get the greens this time by? We will find out. I think the answer is going to be, yes, it is. Green, 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 green. So we go racing once again and out in front it is going to be a great charge for Delano and Top is going to go for the lead straight away. Alex Lloyd in a second position as they go through. A great start from Van Top and as they blast through to turn two there's already a bit of a scrabble as into third position Max Moyer has broken into P3. Alicia Barrett down to seventh place as through has come Lewis Gilbert on a fast start. But out in front, it is Delano Van Toff. Alex Lloyd in second. Third is Max Meyer. Fourth position, that is Zach Ripley in front of Sam Belota. Lewis Gilbert, then it's Barrett, Algra. And up the inside comes Ratican. Ratican making the move for seventh place. And a good move it is too. Uh, sorry, that's for eighth place on Ratican. And now up the inside comes Herbelt Moore. Then it's uh, Marty Boyer ducking up the inside of Ken Oscar Algra. So Marty Boyer makes his way through. Fantastic restart and a great battle. We've only got four laps to go of it, so we're already at the half distance mark of this race. But Delano Van Toff has taken the lead and up to fourth place comes the Belgian Sam Belota. Belota's got the move on Ripley and up the inside, that's Alicia Barrett making the move on Lewis Gilbert. So Alicia Barrett's on the move and she's come up to sixth position. Good work from Alicia, who's really showing her pace now. So as they come up to the far side, Delano Van Toff is your leader from Lloyd, Meyer, Belota. Ripley, and then it is Barrett in front of Lewis Gilbert. Then it's Herbelt Moore in eighth position. Ninth is Radigan, tenth is Marty Boyer. Great start to this race in the X30 Juniors at Wackersdorf, the third heat of the weekend. And this is a real route for the Fusion Motorsport drivers. First, third, and sixth at the moment. 
Really impressive run from them as they come off the final turn, but Alex Lloyd is still pushing hard in the Dan Holland racing car to chase down Delano Van Toff. Here comes Belota up the inside of Max Meyer, and the Belgian's gone through in a third position. Max Meyer trying to get him back on the exit. No chance. Belota holds him off. So third position for Belota. Then it's Meyer, fifth place for the uh, number 36 of Zach Ripley, the man who started from pole position, still staying in touch in the top six as they continue their run through. Alicia Barrett staying in front of Lewis Gilbert for the moment. Then it's Erbaut Moore. Marty Boyer's broken into ninth place past Josh Radican. Then it's Ken Oscar Algra from Raulich, Saab, Janssen, Gumansen, Dai, Nudadini, Andronako, Balatska and Grundal. Now Intra Fivazak has broken into the top 20 again. So good to see him making places. And there's a spin! And there's a spin further back. Two carts have gone there together. Two carts have gone together there at the Marshall Post 6. Now who is that? I think that is Sam Balatska in the 82 who has gone off there so Balatska has had a bit of an incident no that's Jort Kuhn that's Jort Kuhn the Dutchman so Jort Kuhn has fallen down the order and I think it was actually uh, Jerzyk Spinkovic the Polish driver who tagged him so uh, unfortunately a very high rate Jerzyk Spinkovic has got damage to the cart into the pits as well is going to come Sam Balatska uh, sorry the, no the 82 of uh, Jort Kuhn the Dutchman so Jort Kuhn is out of the race, and so too it looks to be Jerzyk Spinkovic. Spinkovic is going to keep going, but down at the back of the field. Sam Belota has caught up to Alex Lloyd in the battle for the victory. So with two laps to go, not even that in fact, because we're already on that penultimate lap and about to complete it. And there's an off further back. That is the 72 running off the circuit. In fact, no, that's the 77 of Manus Gamansson, die the Dane. He manages to lose about three places, but keeps it on the road, essentially. Final lap to go. Here comes Alex Lloyd up the inside. Bangs wheels with Delano Van Toff and gets through. Great move from Alex Lloyd on the limit of adhesion through that first corner. No holds barred whatsoever. Alex Lloyd pulls a fast one on Delano Van Toff there in the first corner. That was a sweet move. No room for negotiation, no room for debate, and he is through into the lead. Now, second position, Delano Van Toff's got problems of his own. He's got Sam Belota trying to come through. He'll want to try and get the move on Lloyd. But Belota's trying to come past Delano Van Toff as well. Alex Lloyd is nailing his car to that inside line. Can he get there? Well, Alex Lloyd's working very hard as Max Meyer now finds himself in fourth position. What's happened to Alicia Barrett? She slipped down behind Marty Boyer. But this final corner is going to get Alex Lloyd. Watch Pelota! Pelota is going to try and get there to the line. Alex Lloyd just gets there first. Alex Lloyd beats Pelota and Van Toff. So Pelota is second. Alex Lloyd beats Sam Pelota to the line by 0 0.029. Oh, fantastic. What a great race from Alex Lloyd. Sam Belota in second place, Delano Van Toff in third from Max Meyer, Zach Ripley and Lewis Gilbert who comes back to the top six once again. Goodness me, this is going to be a fever pitch race day tomorrow. The Junior X30 races here today have been absolutely stellar. And for Alex Lloyd, it's two out of three. Sam Belota second from Delano Van Toff. That should put Alex Lloyd on pole position for tomorrow's pre-final. Max Meyer in fourth place from Zach Ripley and Lewis Gilbert. Then Erbelt Moore and Marty Boyer. Alicia Barrett in the top ten in ninth place. And Ken Oscar Algra is tenth. Then it is Ratican, Saab, Janssen, Andronako, Nuradini, Raulic, Bolatska, Germansendai, Interfavazak, Rajepi, Pardo, Grundal, Jakobsen, Hakala, and Jerzy Spinkovic, sadly, is going to be the last one home. And oh, so many drivers involved in the war zone in that race. Jort Kuhn, Liam McNeely, Wilgert Edqvist, Gilles Stadsbader, uh, Tom Leben. Well, we lost so many drivers in that one. We lost, uh, well, let me just count them all because we, we unfortunately lost so many of them. Uh, 25 drivers finished. So out of the race in that one were Jort Kuhn, Liam McNeely, Wilgert Edqvist, Gilles Statsbader, Tom Leban, Anzo Julier, Alex Ivanov, and Remo Kadapik. All of them retiring from that race. An absolutely crazy Junior X30 battle there. And uh, of course, because of that uh, full course yellow, we only actually got five racing laps out of that one. But my goodness me, that was absolutely intense. And Alex Lloyd making it two wins out of three here in Wackersdorf and that will put him in first position for tomorrow's races but some great fight backs through that field particularly for the likes of Lewis Gilbert who fought his way back to sixth place uh, Marty Boyer who fought his way back to eighth position 
Uh, a good run as well initially for Josh Rowledge making up places, but then lost them towards the bitter end. But so many big names fell by the wayside in that one. So we got to see uh, Sam Belota and Delana Van Toff scrapping away with Alex Lloyd for the victory. The three of them came across the line side by side, by the way, and it finished with the three of them covered by less than half a tenth of a second. Absolutely astonishing. Great racing from the Junior X30s. And there's more where that came from, from our two Senior X30 heats that are up next. Wow, X30 Senior Racing is up next, and that's a hard act to follow from the X30 Juniors. Alex Lloyd taking two wins out of three, though, in fantastic fashion, and that should see him on pole position for tomorrow's pre-final. So uh, it's looking good for him. Several other drivers, though, are finding it a much harder pill to swallow as they get it ready for tomorrow's race action. It's a little bit of a car park up at turn two at the moment with several carts looking to be recovered. Those of uh, Wilgot Edgfist, that's the damage to Liam McNeely's cart, the 48. Uh, all sorts of problems with that machine. So I'm afraid the Evolution mechanics have got a lot of homework to do ready for tomorrow. And I know that a lot of them wanted to watch the England versus Sweden match, not the least because they've got English and Swedish drivers in their team. So uh, that's going to be a bit awkward, isn't it? If one team beats the other, which notably they will. And uh, obviously we've got several carts uh, still in uh, bits and bobs up at turn two. That low loader is going to be busy on this lap home. But attention now turns to the Senior X30 Brigade qualifying heat A and D. And that means that Mark Kimber is going to be on the front row of the grid alongside Jordan Brown Nutley. And this is going to be a very intense battle once again because there's two very talented Brits on that front row of the grid, both of whom believe they've got what it takes to win here at Wackersdorf. We've had four different winners from the Senior X30 heats thus far. There is a very good chance here we could get a fifth because alongside Mark Kimber on that front row of the grid is Jordan Brown Nutley. And alongside the man who won his previous heat, Clayton Ravenscroft, on the second row of the grid is the Dutchman Joey Van Splinteren, who has yet to win a race here today as well, but has been very much in com competition for it. So uh, that should be interesting. And on that third row of the grid, of course, we've got Javier Hansen, the Belgian, and the Dutchman, Dan Steenman. So uh, they'll be interesting to keep an eye on as well. Uh, Manafi Jawi is seventh on the grid alongside the Swede Isaac Valtonen. And then we have uh, Valentino Fritsch, the German, who's alongside the Finn Levi Lintokanto. Uh, Hans Morin lines up 11th on the grid. He got completely out of luck in that previous heat uh, while battling away for the top six and would almost certainly have got there in my view, but unfortunately ended up in the wars up at turn seven.